Hello Libra, welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Wing. I'm doing your weekly Zodiac reading. All uh, cross watchers are welcome. Anybody who is drawn to this reading is welcome. So this is a general reading. So take what resonates and leave the rest. If you would like a personalized reading, there's a link in the description box below takes you right to my book online page and you can book a personal reading where I could look at your specific energy. So, all right, Libra, let's start in the past. In the past, we have the Seven of Cups in reverse, a lack of options. Ooh, I feel like you, you had that for a while there. I don't feel like I have any other options. It looks like you're trying to find options where there aren't options. Like how can I, I I'm in a pickle here. It's in re regards to a connection that you were in. It feels like a soulmate or I, I I really recognize this person on a soul level. Feels like we were brought together. Oh. Is it in a, I feel like you found this person in a period of time when you didn't have a lot of options. Okay. looks like uh, you found this person in a period of time when you didn't have a lot of options. But there was something that was unhealed that you hadn't healed yet. Some mindset. that you hadn't had a change. It feels like you met this person and something wasn't fully healed within you about your mindset, about uh, maybe your family of origin. You hadn't quite healed from some childhood trauma when you met this person. So it was, it feels like very difficult to change. It feels like I, I really am drawn to this connection. I feel a soul connection. But I haven't really healed my childhood issues. I just want a new beginning without the healing. It feels it feels good. It feels like we can just like leave the wounding behind and, and move forward without the healing. Can't wait to see how that work turns out. All right, Libra. <laughs> Just kidding. In present energy, we have the nine of swords in reverse coming out of a nightmare. You're coming out of a nightmare scenario, something very painful, anxiety ridden, fear. I don't even know how to get out. It's such a nightmare. How do I get out of this? Feels like trying to strategize, trying to plan. I'm I'm just giving up. I'm I'm giving up. There's something about I'm just giving up that's good. I'm giving up. I been fighting this for so long it's time to move on I want to move towards what I'm passionate about I want to make different moves I'm going to take action and I'm, you might literally be moving or you might have moved maybe in July There's also like some type of health consideration. Like I'm 
I've got to move for my health too, like physical, mental, emotional, but it does feel physical. I'm moving forward. I'm transmuting this. I'm, I've been so patient, but it's time to move on. I've got the courage to do this now. You might feel guided, divinely guided to do this. I'm going to go in a direction I've never gone. This is new for me. I didn't expect to ever go in this direction. But I, and now I need, to, I need to bring balance. I need to heal these wounds that I, I didn't address in the past. I need to transmute these. feels like it's hard to make plans. It's hard to move out. It's hard to strategize in this current energy. Wow, that's interesting. Uh, but I, I, there's a lack of soul fulfillment here. There's a lack of personal fulfillment. And there's a real stuck quality. And there's, there's also a lack of assuredness that this is going to go anywhere it feels like it's not like I'm with someone who's really stuck I can't make plans with them and there's no soul fulfillment here and then ace of pentacles there's a new opportunity this new opportunity might be around business this might be your ticket out of here it might be around business and you might have to move. It's such a good way like to get out of this, to be able to leave, create your own abundance, your own stability, create a, a whole different way of being. It's new. It would take a lot of work. Wow. All right, Libra, messages from your higher self is the world in reverse, a lack of closure, a lack of a, the cycle's not ending. Okay, I, I was when I was saying the above, I was like, this kind of sounds like I want to escape this and not heal from it. I want to start a new life again go in a new direction have this new beginning without addressing the whatever the core wounds here it feels like you're about to repeat a cycle that you did in the past a lack of options you find someone you cling on to someone without doing the healing without really evolving and changing anything i'm just going to move forward and you take all that woundedness and that old mindset with you and so you end up creating something very similar so there's a lack of yeah it's like i'm just i'm i'm just playing i'm just trying to juggle the situation feels like a, a real need to be honest with yourself and to others first with yourself now this uh, is an energy of someone using their sexual charms to get what they want to move other people someone who uses um, their charms, their sexuality, yeah, to get what they want, to manipulate through those sexual needs. There's someone here who, who's not ending, who's repeating a cycle. They're not ending the cycle. There's a juggling, maybe juggling telling two different people this what they want to hear wow 
the message here is is be be more in that leadership going after what you desire is fantastic but being upright about it this is stating you know this is what i want this is what i'm going after not um being deceptive and i'm also getting that there's it looks like you might be attracting deceptive energy to you player energy someone who tells you what you want to hear and they they feel very charming and make you feel special but there's something about guarding your moves being clear about who you are and who you're attracting without healing these these core wounds it feels like a, a cycle will repeat wow again your challenge is the two of pentacles the second time this has shown up in your reading your challenge is not is not playing others juggling others or allowing others to juggle you, to play you? Do you let others tell you what you want to hear without giving it time to see if their words match their actions? Yeah, that's exactly, wow. Um, there's a, a rushing in to try to escape. It's like, it's a pattern. I, I don't have options, but I don't like where I'm at. So I, I, I rush into connections. Full, full blown, instead of taking my time and seeing who they are. This behavior is rooted in a lack of self-love. Not really believing that you deserve something that's lasting, that's love. I'm also getting that there's something around connections. It feels like connections are very related to finances. It doesn't look like there's a lot of love here in in this what seems to be kind of about love reading it's about finances about stability about how others are perceiving you i think the the root issue here is like the the um the medicine for this is self-love Being by yourself and learning who you are without someone else feels like there's this belief like I don't exist unless someone else is loving me. Love comes from other people. I don't know how to source it within myself. All right, Libra, what's hidden is... Wow. Death and rebirth. Transformational energy. Scorpionic energy. So what's hidden is this transformation. What do we need to know? What does Libra need to know about what's hidden? Yeah, it's around... It's around stability maybe finances maybe there's a, a lack of belief that you can financially support yourself or you don't want to support yourself well, that, that came out all wonky uh, your challenge is having a new beginning that is 
very different, a real new beginning, not just trying to escape and being in the same energy, but having a very new beginning. It looks like if you, it's difficult to make that new beginning and not just escape because there's a lot of fear and unknowns. Whereas just escaping and going into another connection that might be toxic, at least that's familiar. I know what that landscape looks like. Whereas going at it alone, going by myself, uh, I have to face a lot of fears. Something shifts. There's a lot of quick shifts, unexpected, if you do transform this and go in a different direction. Oh, okay, so what's interesting is what's not working will start falling away. Once you move away and move in a different direction, things shift quickly and I'll, you might have to separate or lose a couple more people, maybe around work, things that weren't working anyway. Things that were hidden will come to light. It's like you're you're in the energy and you can't really see it, but if you leave it, then you can see, you can understand. There's a lot more to understand of, about why why this was so toxic. What what was hidden? feel like what was hidden is it's within you it's in the house the calls coming from inside the house there's there's a woundedness that's that's coming up to be addressed how to take care of yourself how how to love yourself who you are without others who you are as an individual so you can step into the role of who you are in a collective, who you are in, in relationship. But it's, it, it's, it's like you haven't really explored your, who you are and how to love you. All right. Um, your opportunity this week, Libra, is the Five of Swords in Reverse. So by letting go of bullies and letting go of toxic connections, It's like there's this realization that this isn't the truth. There's there's just lies. This isn't it's not the truth. There's something I feel like you see this lie and it makes you so unhappy feel like someone's trying to tell you this is the truth and you're like it's a lie it's not the truth i'm this is so unhappy wow i'm someone's very overwhelmed in their emotions because this is not love 10 of cups in reverse this is not lasting love this is not love i can't get to the 10 of cups cuz i don't i i don't really i haven't really learned and embodied and anchored in the ace of cups so i can't i i'm trying to rush and get to the ten of cups without knowing how to love myself first yeah there's there's just a repeat of the cycle there's an opportunity in seeing this and seeing that this is not loving 
these messages are not loving they're just keeping me dependent they're keeping me in a trauma bond and repeating a cycle i want to get out of this drama all right libra your possible outcome this week is the moon something that's been hidden something that's hidden what do we need to know What's been hidden is that Five of Swords energy that this is really manipulation. This is really about a power struggle, about someone wanting control over you. I feel like you're, you're, you're feeling it in a real way. Uh, there's a realization this isn't love. This is manipulation and control. I, I felt some type of familiarity and I felt cared for by this person's control. I, I, I mistook control for someone containing and, and caring for me. You also might see how this person treats and talks about others. And you assume that, you know, they that's just how they're perceiving others, but they perceive you that way too. How to manipulate you, how to get one over on you. I think that might be hidden. That was hidden. Maybe that's coming to light that, wait, this person, it's all about mental manipulation. This isn't about expansion. This isn't about growth. This isn't about love and care, about creating. This is about fear and control and trying to manipulate the people in your environment to do what you want them to do. This is familiar because this is how I was raised, but this is not joyful. This isn't what I want. It feels like this person, uh, ooh, they're saying a lot. I feel like though where you're at, you're you're observing this from a very different vantage point. Like somehow you're detached and just seeing how they're behaving. You're not engaging, you're not trying to convince them, you're just like you see them. And they're they're not this isn't who I thought I was with. That's kind of what's happening here. Yeah, I, I feel like you're realizing you can't you can't grow with this person. You can't expand. You can't create what you want to create. This person is kind of stuck in a very immature way of being. A cycl they're stuck in a cyclical pattern. And again, how many times... The world in reverse here, the world in reverse, there's a lack of growth. There's a uh, transformation happening, but that transformation is for you. It's not, this person is not going to transform. And I feel like you're getting that in a real way and seeing what a burden, feeling what a burden this relationship is. It's exhausting. I feel like, I don't know if you're quite ready to go independent here that I'm getting, but you're, you're, I feel like I'm, I'm here. I'm, I'm at my limit. You're seeing things in a very different way. And a lot of these new ways of seeing things are like a gift from the universe. Like, can you see this? Are you seeing this? So, all right, Libra, that's your reading. I hope that was helpful. If you're still watching and you, this reading really resonated with you, if you can hit that like button, that's right here. I think it's right there. Yeah. Hit that like button. That lets me know that uh, you enjoyed this reading, that I could should keep doing these readings that I'm on the right track. That's how you communicate with me and share appreciation. Um, and if you haven't already, 
consider subscribing to the channel so you get more of these readings. I do the weekly zodiac readings. I do a daily uh, collective reading. And on the weekends, the collective readings are a love reading and a business finance reading. So a lot here. So, all right, Libra, hope that was helpful. Take care. Bye.